<laughs> is it too late to stop a foreclosure? It's interesting that this question comes up because unfortunately that question comes up when it feels like it's too late to stop a foreclosure. I think the biggest problem that I see with homeowners that are behind on their mortgage payments and are facing foreclosure is that they don't take any action. They hide, they're embarrassed, they don't wanna to speak to the bank, they don't wanna to speak to anybody who is very capable on assisting them in solving this issue. And that might not be the solution that you want, you might not be the best solution where you can actually catch up on your payments and keep the house. Usually what I find is that once someone gets behind financially, it is extremely difficult to catch up. It really is. I mean, especially in the economy and in the inflation that we're living right now, once you get behind and you got to really make double the amount of money from what you're already making now in order to be able to have extra funds to catch up. The other situation that can happen is that sometimes people end up borrowing money if they are fortunate enough to have family or friends that have the extra money to lend them. But the sad part about it is that it's very, very difficult to catch up. Sometimes it's possible if it's a temporary situation and then now you're back on your feet, it's doable to catch up. But why are you waiting? Why are you waiting until you have to ask yourself that question? First of all, Let's do something. it's never too late until it's over. Right? It's never too late until the Fed maybe sinks. It's not over until you stop trying. But what you gotta do is please understand that although it's embarrassing and it's an uncomfortable situation, there's people here that strive and are so willing and able to assist you and walking you through the process to make sure that worst case scenario, even if you don't get a chance to save your house, at least you will have time to get yourself situated. You will have time. You won't be evicted out of the blue unexpectedly. I, mean, I can't imagine, guys. I mean, this is probably the worst feeling in the world. What do you say? What do you tell your children? What do you tell your spouse? How do you handle this? True, I get it. I've seen it many times. But I want you to know that there's a way to do that. My advice to you, first things first, is start being proactive way in the beginning of the game. Starting now. Start early. There's a very good chance that you have equity in your house. There's very accessible ways for you to even find out. So what I would want you to do is contact the bank and ask the bank to give you a payoff letter. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you know exactly what would cost to close the loan if you would have closed the loan with all the fees and everything, and usually they will give you a letter that is good for up to 30 days. Once you have that information, you can contact a local real estate agent. The local real estate agent can absolutely come over, do a market analysis, and give you a information and let you know what you can expect to sell your house for. Many times people have equity. The time that you're actually going to end up losing your equity is when you wait too long because what's gonna happen is all the late fees and legal fees will add up onto your loan balance and what happens with that is that it's actually eating away your equity. I know that giving up your house or selling your house is probably not your first choice. It's probably your last choice. Well, maybe it's the choice last before, which is actually losing your house to foreclosure. So when you lose your house to foreclosure, you're done. You ain't getting absolutely nothing. And I don't want you to even be next to this kind of a situation. So that's why I'm saying start early. You might want to speak to the bank first and see, hey, how can I catch up without giving you a lump sum of money and without losing my house? You could do that. You can contact people who are in the real estate industry that have helped people in foreclosure, have team around them, resources around them, that know exactly how to go about it and how to guide you along the way. Many of us are very eager and thrive specifically around helping people in foreclosure. Really, it's a shame. I mean, I've heard people, I mean, I see those auctions or sales scheduled in the courthouse for the auction steps. I'm like, what did go wrong here? 
Why haven't these people reached out? Why haven't they at least picked up the phone and inquire? Why didn't they pick up the damn phone? Reach out and ask, hey, this is my situation. Is there anything at all that I could do? You'd be surprised how many resources, options that are available. The options that are available to you are multifaceted. There's a lot of different, and I can't really sit here and tell you, okay, these are your options for this particular situation to stop a foreclosure on your house because it depends on many things. Every financial institution has the specific underlying guidelines of how they're gonna handle, whether they're gonna participate in a short sale. Is a short sale even an option with this kind of lending that you got? Who funded the loan? Who are the investors who pulled money together to fund that mortgage? I mean, you guys probably know by now that when you get a mortgage usually a lot of times within the first month or so that mortgage is being sold to another financial institution you probably got a letter maybe you don't remember a long time ago after you closed on the house that now you have to make payments to another mortgage company or a servicing company so they all have specific guidelines regulations and rules that they follow if you ask me a question okay just tell me tell me i can't really tell you exactly i just could tell you that you do have options and unless you try to find out what your specific options are and what can or cannot be done about helping you how would you know? so basically you just choosing to being defeated right from the onset you give up you pick up your hands and it's like okay whatever whatever's gonna happen or be in denial it's never gonna happen it will happen at some point we had a whole big break during the pandemic where everything was kind of on pause and there was the moratorium. There was another story, not necessarily my favorite thing because a lot of people signed up for that, not really understanding what they're signing up for. And then signing up for the moratorium and actually accepting that now might have omitted an option or two from your possibilities. But we're not gonna cry over spilled milk, right? Which reminds me, I have to go and put some cream into my soup. If you ask me what I want to relate in this conversation that we are having today is do yourself a favor. Learn about all the options you have. At least then you have all the resources, knowledge, and information to make powerful choices for you and your family. It's not one size fits all. It's not going to be the same choice for every homeowner, but at least you owe it to yourself to please do that. Now, I have some interesting good news for you. In case you don't want to call anybody first and just want to find out what could be the value of your home and see what somebody will be able to, let's say, pay cash as is, you don't have to fix anything, you don't have to clean up, you don't have to do showings, you don't even have to list it with a real estate broker or agent. If you're interested, I will put a link down below where you can go put your house information, put your address in, you can even upload some pictures if you want, and then get a quick cash offer in your inbox with no obligations, you don't have to accept it, but at least it's gonna give you an idea of what you can possibly get on the market and compare it to what your payoff letter says that you requested from the bank that I told you about in the beginning of this conversation. The biggest fear for you if you're facing foreclosure is where you're gonna go and live right after this house is gonna be taken away from you or where you're gonna go if you decide to sell. So. There's a great solution, great opportunity for you to check this out. Especially if you have equity in your house, you can actually cash out on your equity and get a cash offer. And the best part is you can lease your house for up to 12 months after that. No way. In the meantime, you cashed out on your equity. You also released yourself from the stress, the constant letters, the phone calls, and the time ticking and clocking, moving you faster to foreclosure. Now there's no obligation, it's very private, you can do it from your own home, you log into a website, and just check out to see. I mean, if you know what your debt is, you can even go as far as really contacting your lender and asking them for a payoff letter, and that letter is gonna be good for 30 days. So I will put a link for you down below in the description. Do yourself a favor, 
check it out. There's no obligation. At least I want you to be able to see what are you looking at. I want you to be able to see if you have equity in the house. And I want you to be able to keep as much of your equity as possible because I'm on your side. I don't want the bank to have it. I want you to have it. Make sure to check it out, subscribe, like this video, share with whoever you believe this can help. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.